The world needs more energy, more than ever before. But it's undeniably on an unsustainable path. We need a faster transition to a low-carbon energy system and a net-zero emissions world. One possible solution, often touted as a low-carbon fuel for generating electricity and storing energy, powering cars, trucks and trains, and heating buildings, is blue hydrogen. Experts say it may one day be the lowest cost option to help decarbonize industrial heating, residential heating in extremely cold climates and heavy duty vehicles. So what is blue hydrogen? It is an industry term for hydrogen produced from natural gas and supported by carbon capture and storage. The CO2 generated during the manufacturing process is captured and stored permanently underground. The result is low carbon hydrogen that produces no CO2. But according to Cornell and Stanford University researchers, blue hydrogen may be no better for the climate and potentially a fair bit worse than continuing to use fossil natural gas. They see natural gas production inevitably results in methane emissions from fugitive leaks. Methane does not last long in the atmosphere as long as carbon dioxide, but it is much more potent as a greenhouse gas. Over 100 years, one ton of methane can be considered to be equivalent to 28 to 36 tons of carbon dioxide, according to the International Energy Agency. Researchers are of the view that after all, blue hydrogen may not be as green as it once appeared. Head to business-standard.com for more news, views and insights.